this video I would like to discuss about the effects of a specific tax on the marketplace and we will discuss about these effects on the producers, on the consumers and on the government. So from now on in microeconomics and in macroeconomics videos that I will be making, I will talk about government interventions that we can prove graphically and how they affect the marketplace and when it comes to the marketplace we have to consider producers consumers and governments so these three entities in our case now in this video i will talk about the producers about how the prices change on the market because of a specific tax and how much revenue producers actually get to make in the next video i will talk about the consumers and in a third video afterwards i will talk about the government and the tax revenue it collects i i hope and i believe that if I divide this series in a couple of videos, it's gonna be easier for you to follow. So with that being said, let's go. Suppose the following, we have the price quantity axis over here. We have the green supply curve, which is the original supply curve. And the purple one is going to be the supply after a specific tax. Remember from the previous video that a specific tax shifts the supply curve up by the amount of that tax. And I noted here that the difference between these two curves is the amount of that tax. Now, as always, we have an original equilibrium, okay, by this noted by this white dot. So quantity in equilibrium and price in equilibrium. Now let's see what happens when we have a tax, a specific tax. At the same quantity in equilibrium, we can see that on the new supply curve, on the purple one over here, we are not having a demand that's willing to pay it because the demand is over here at this level, okay? The demand is on the orange curve, whereas the supply that the firms want to offer is on the purple one. And we can see that we are creating over here an excess supply. So as a result of that, as a result of this excess supply, we have to lower the price until we reach a new equilibrium which is going to be the intersection between the demand curve and the new supply curve that includes the tax. Hope this makes sense. So let's note this at the moment as quantity after the tax, so QT for short, at an equilibrium price after the tax. Now this price after the tax is what customers are paying, okay? The firms are charging this price on the market because they are forced to increase the price by the amount of tax. So this is going to be the price consumers pay after the tax. I'm writing it as PCT. I'm going to make it as a small note. So price customers pay after tax. Okay. Customers pay after tax. Okay. I use the word customers and consumers interchangeably just to let you know. Now, after this, let's consider the following that the firm is going to get a different amount okay now let's see how much money does the firm actually get to keep well we have to understand that from this price over here okay the firm is going to keep the amount that the customers pay minus the tax because the firm has to pay that tax to the government so basically we have to move down until the green curve the original one without the tax because as i just said the tax goes to the government meaning that the price the firm actually gets to keep is over here represented by this yellow dot this is going to be the price of the firm after the tax i'm going to call it pft okay so this is the price firm skip price firm keeps after tax after tax so with that being said, let's see what happens. We can notice, first of all, that the price that the customer pay after the tax is above the initial equilibrium price that was bef without taxes. And the price that the firms get to keep, okay, is going to be below that equilibrium price in the beginning of the case, in the beginning of this scenario. Now let's talk about the revenue how much revenue did the firm make before the tax and how much revenue does the firm make after the tax. So before the tax, the firm was making this rectangle over here, the price in equilibrium times the quantity in equilibrium. I'm going to highlight it like that. Okay. This was the revenue of the firm before 
before the tax okay price equilibrium times quantity in equilibrium was the total revenue of the firms before tax before tax okay so it was this rectangle over here like that hope this makes sense now what is the revenue that the firm keeps after the tax it's going to be the price that they actually get to keep which is from here for the quantity that they actually get to sell which is only qt so therefore this blue rectangle right now is going to be the revenue of the firm after the tax and this one as we can see graphically is a smaller rectangle than the yellow one meaning that the price pft okay times quantity t times quantity t is going to be the total revenue after the tax okay after the tax and we can see as a result that the producers the firms are hurt because they actually get to keep less revenue after the tax than they used to keep before the tax hope this all makes sense if you like the video make sure to subscribe and we are done